Hello, this is Oleg from Experimental Avionics. This is another video about uh, Arduino-based EFIS or Electronic Flight Information System. In this video I'll show you how to build this EFIS. Before we start I want to thank everyone for contributing the questions and suggestions via my website experimentalavionics.com and other online resources. Okay, let's open this box and see what's inside and I'll show you how to build all these components. Now we open the case, as you can see there is a sensor board here that has all the pressure sensors and magnetometer and gyro here and the main Arduino board here Should disconnect this now So this is Arduino board attached to display board, just like that. And here we have um, our display, like that, and SD card adapter here, and encoder. So now let's uh, have a look at the uh, sensor board. Alright, here on sensor board, uh, you probably seen this board on my website before. I just quickly go through all the components currently installed there. This is differential pressure sensor for uh, our airspin indicator, level shifter for I2C bus, static pressure sensor. This is Honeywell, uh, quite expensive uh, static pressure sensor. Uh, some other pressure sensor can be used in, instead of this one. So this is a real-time clock and Adafruit BNO055 orientation sensor. So it's basically magnetometer, gyro and accelerometer all together. It's a pretty smart device. Uh, it calculates Euler vectors and just returns it through I2C bus is really nice you don't really have to do all the calculations yourself all right let's see how this board can be built um, I'll just get an empty board and we'll start putting it together okay so this is our empty sensor board it's pretty much standard PCB board uh, where we will solder our components in. So we can start with very simple task of soldering headers here for um, IDC connector uh, right here in the middle and uh, external I2C connector that we'll be probably using for angle of attack indicator or some other component that will be external to this board and also this connector for uh, SD card for flight recorder all right so we start with breaking up uh, the headers from this line so we need 10 of them let's go like this 10 pieces this and 10 more just 
just like that. That's it. And all we need to do now, just to solder them on the other side, right here. Very simple task, there's nothing really to it. Just to make sure it's uh, all the headers soldered uh, straight and square to the board, I would recommend to add IDC connector on top of it here so it would hold them together, hold these headers together. Alright, so now we have uh, our headers for IDC connector soldered in. We can remove the connector itself. They, there we go. Very simple. Okay, next thing we'll uh, do is we'll attach a mini board. For example, we'll attach I2C connector. Um, just a little note, all the mini boards attached uh, right side up. So, for example, this uh, Adafruit BNO 055 attached with all the elements on the upper side of the board. While this I2C adapter or level shifter has all the stuff underneath the board. This is I2C. Uh, level shifter. We connect header pins on the upper side of the board like this. Solder them in nicely here and then we just cut these pins a little bit shorter so that when we install them into the board on the board just like that They don't stick out too much. You just need maybe one millimeter uh, from the board. That's all we need. So we just need to cut them roughly in half, just like that. So I've got one of them, one of I2C adapters already uh, with uh, pins chopped off. So we just make sure we do it correctly so uh, on the board it's upside down but it says AVCC, SCL, ADSA and A ground so we just make sure it matches what's written on the board just like that and we just it like that. There you go. And solder it on the other side. Okay, so here we go. Our I2C level shifter is soldered in. That's pretty much it. So basically you continue with soldering all these mini boards to the uh, PCB board and pretty much get this kind of result. Um, few things here. So see these uh, two holes for capacitors? You can have surface mounted capacitors soldered on other sides, just like here. and you actually need two uh, capacitors here um, those meant to be surface mounted so as you can see it's very easy and simple to assemble there are not many small components involved everything all the soldering is pretty much very simple except maybe those two surface mounted capacitors 
but it's only there are only two of them. Now let's talk about display board. Display board is even easier to assemble. It only has header pins here just to attach Arduino board and IDC connectors uh, to attach display board to sensor board and one to connect uh, encoder to display board and Arduino. There is also uh, trim pot for contrast adjustment and one little resistor here uh, for brightness but because we don't really adjust it it can be just a resistor and this trim pot it doesn't have to be multi-turn it can be pretty much any 10 kilo ohm resistor here on the other side of the display board there's a line of female headers the 20 of them just soldered on bottom side of the board to attach to connect to this LCD display to assemble it all together all we need to do just to have display board uh, one little note about IDC connectors you don't have to have this fancy one working connector I have it here because I had one spare uh, the board sits in the box in a way that doesn't allow connector like the a female connector to come out of here anyway so you don't have to lock it and usual non-locking IDC connector is cheaper and uh, smaller so it's probably not really necessary to have it uh, like that but I have it because I could um, so now let's attach Arduino board to display board just like that just like sandwich and now we connect this sandwich to display to LCD display just like that and now we need to hook up all these little connectors here and now we just put this board inside the box so now we just hook up the ribbon wires just like that it all looks nice and we close the box that's it thanks for watching